Hey, my name is Alex Afflerback. I make videos and this is a rock climbing adventure. So I messaged my friend Carrick, where do I drive to today? And he's like, for the climbing? We had just talked on the phone about this. I was just like, yes. Uh, where do I drive to? And then Carrick sends me this. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Carrick! So despite the directions, we found where we were supposed to be with a quick look on the map. And his directions actually helped. Difficult. <laughs> uh, when we got there, I knew we had to cross the river, and so we went downhill. This wasn't a flawless adventure. We got it lost a lot, going the wrong way down the river, crossing the river, and then crossing back, going back up the hill. Yeah, it was definitely an adventure. It felt like Dora, <laughs> like going down the hill, under the tree, across the river. I don't want to forget these moments where you find a new place to climb and it was really fun and difficult to get there. I mean, now that this was difficult, just like, we had no idea where we were going. Eventually, we found Carrick. What the crux? I want to look at this series as a way to keep a climber's journal. I want to look back on my climbs, where I went, who I went with, what I was able to climb, and really reflect on the growth of that trip. Funny thing is, I've never really went out to climb for me. I've always followed someone or waited to go climbing with someone who had gear. Even this climbing adventure, I was overly cautious. I like to call it cautiously reckless. It's definitely cautiously reckless. This is our first time lead climbing outdoors. Our rope we had wasn't long enough and we only had a few quick draws. We didn't know how to set up a top rope, clean, or even rappel down. Like I said, cautiously reckless. Like we knew we didn't know those things. But everyone starts somewhere, especially when they're learning. And the thing that matters is putting yourself out there to better yourself. What we did know was how to lead climb and lead belay. We both took a lead belay class from our local climbing gym where we worked with experts going over all the necessary skills you should have before you do either. We checked ourselves, checked the gear, and went over expectations for falling and where to stand as the lead player. We made sure there was a knot at the end of the rope since we were climbing with a shorter rope. I especially kept an eye on how much rope we had left throughout the whole climb. Elle is climbing the Thieving Magpie. It's a 5'7 found in Utah's Wasatch Range, specifically in Big Cottonwood Canyon. It's a 70-foot sport climb on the right side of the Salt Lake Slips. Six quick draws are recommended for the route itself. If you want to check out this climb, there will be a link in the description. I went up to the fifth bolt before lowering. We were mindful of the short rope. Cautiously, we invited ourselves to join Carrick. He's a friend I've had since 2010 when I lived back in New Jersey. Like, we went to high school together. It's so crazy to think how we both ended up here in Utah. Carrick has a lot of experience climbing outdoors. I led belay as he finished the route. When he got to the top, he top rope belayed me. When I finished the route, Carrick taught me everything I needed to know. He taught me a lot, like how to anchor yourself in and set up a top rope system, have things opposite of pose, how to create a bite so that you don't drop your rope and get stuck up there. Some other things include how to get lowered without losing any of your gear or how to repel. We went over that. I've climbed outside before, um, but I've always skipped the learning part and just had somebody do it for me. This time I really wanted to put a lot of effort into learning how to do everything so that when I do it alone, I'll feel safe. I'm really thankful Carrick was there to teach us some tips and tricks. I know how important it is to stay safe and knowledge keeps you safe. And I really wanted to go over how to do everything correctly before I did my first lead climb. And I'm really excited that I'm prepared and I'm ready to do my first ever outdoor lead climb. So look out for that in the next video. 
One day I'll be able to look back and see where I started. I'm really excited that I'm doing this climbing journal. So thanks for watching. We did it. Yeah, we Woo! climbed all the way until night crawl. Um, and an old lead climb and I learned how to clean the first climb of the season. Oh, look, Camp's doing photos too. Nice. I knew we weren't the only ones. Summertime